Oh, great. Is it your turn to cook? What's all this gonna be? Paella. Well, two of them. One without seafood for Emmerich. And a gooseberry pie for dessert. Nev's favorite. You made dessert just for Nev? There's enough for everyone. Yes, but you still made it just for her. You think it's a bad idea? Is this a clever little hint to get Nev on the case of a new admirer? It's a pie. I don't know what you're talking about. You think it's too much? I don't know if the two of you are ready for pie. You're probably right. I've never been any good at this. My cousin got all the charm. Did he though? I've never really faced any problem too big to solve. Now they're spying. The gods, Treviso. It's hard to ever feel you're doing enough. But here, now, I have people I can care for. Something as small as providing a treat feels big enough to matter. Hey, do you know someone named Traylon? A little bit younger than you. Dark hair, big for an elf. Oh, I know him. Knew him, I mean, when we were kids. Is he a warden friend of yours? He was, until Weiss out. Now they want to find his family. Tell them he died a hero. I'll talk to Strife. He'll know what to do. Emmerich, if you liked someone, what would you do? To show them you like them, I mean. Perhaps a stroll through the memorial gardens of the necropolis? Lovely flowers. Don't, you know, spirits hang around there? Oh, a few, certainly. I heard from Cal Shirak about the missing dwarves. Stallguard's one of them. I have to go help. They sent me maps of the area where the missing were last seen. It's a start. You're coming to help, right? I promised I would. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Let's not wait too long. The missing dwarves started their patrol here. If we retrace their steps, we'll figure out what happened to them. I hope. This way, and be on your guard. I don't know what we'll find here. That's why he brought me. We've got you. You, it's you. Yes, it's me, Harding. But you were... Uh, uh, no, it couldn't have been. Oh, my head. Can you tell us what happened? We were on patrol. Stolgol thought he heard something. Someone weeping, he said. He left to investigate. Never returned. Soon we all started to hear it. The weeping, the whispers... Something took me as I rested. A shadow tinged with red. The last thing I saw before suffocating darkness. How did you survive in a rock? That's your question? Right now? Bet it's a dwarven thing. Children of the stone? Our philosophers may have an answer, but I do not. Just rest. You're no longer in danger. Something's still out there. But it's not after you anymore. I understand. May the ancestors be with you. We should keep going. I sense someone else close by. Be careful. Trust nothing you hear. Trust nothing you see. And thank you, Harding. Lace Harding, you should not have come. You needed help. You know, I tried to tell her, but she's a stubborn one. Stubborn, yes. I will be forever grateful for this foolishness. What happened? The memory is clouded. I recall a cry in the shadows, and then... nothing. I walk in darkness, pressed against the stone. No room to even breathe. Time lost meaning. There was a voice in my ears, murmuring in despair. Fun. It was not fun. Yes, I... Never mind. Do you know what it was? A shade. A rot within the stone. And it's after me. 
The only way to stop it is to face it. Don't. It will consume you. You, mister, need to rest. I'll handle it. Farther in. That's where the Titan's heart is. That's where I have to go. That's where it ends. The Titan's heart? Are we... in an actual Titan? How do you... I just know. You seem far too relaxed for someone about to face something that wants to eat you. I'm terrified. Don't tell the others. The secret's safe with me. I'm ready. Red lyrium's usually blighted. This isn't that. It's just lyrium that's angry. Am I just seeing things? Those crystals look like veins. Over there. The heart. That's where I have to go. I don't understand. Oh, well, that's new. Look at me! Don't you remember? They broke us into a million pieces, and this is all that's left! Anger and pain. My anger and my pain. You cast me out. I couldn't bear it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They built their world on the wreckage of us. Vengeance is all we have. Run! Honey! You have to stop or you'll kill us all! I told you to run! We don't leave people behind! I remember all of it. Everything the Evanuris did to the Titans. And now the world will remember! You're Lace Harding. You're more than this rage. You believe that the world is beautiful, that people are good. Hold on to it. Hold on to who you are. You took everything from us. And you thought you won. But we're still here. We're different. But we're not gone. We will thrive in spite of you. That was intense. My mind's still clearing. Anyway, you ready to go? Let's get you home. Stalgard and the others are returning to Kal Shirak to spread word of what happened. They'll need to be strong in the coming days. We all will. Yep. Absolutely. Anyway... You're trying to figure out how to ask me how I am. Something breezy, but not too flippant. Good words are so hard. I used to worry that I'd lose myself to the Titans. But I wouldn't even be here without them. Would I? How could I lose myself when they were always a part of me? So, what's next for you? First, we stop the Elven Gods. And after that, well... <laughs> One step at a time? See where it takes me. <laughs> I know this was hard for you. Learning all that, feeling all that. I'm sorry. 
Yes, but I wasn't alone. Oh, and I don't know if I said thank you, so thank you, Rook. I wouldn't be here without you. I've noticed Asan's been rather moody lately. He's jealous. Is it because you and Rook are spending more time in each other's company? You heard? There were signs, small glances, intakes of breath. Though Harding also told me. <laughs> I wouldn't call the glances small, but she's right. That's wonderful to hear. This is where we eat. I see. Shithan, it's good to see you again. My child wished to show me where she now lived. I made food. Here. Armada special. It's what the pirates eat when they come to port. This is too rich for me. Perhaps you could prepare some vegetables. Fine. A few weeks in your company, and my child has lost what little civility she had. The Armada Special actually has a long cultural history behind it. It is meat and cheese on bread. It is the essence of Ravain. Of course, Evitash would like it. This is what I face for removing her from the Kuhn. Tash is making a life here with us and wanted to share that with you. So I can see how happy my child is to have abandoned the ways of our people? You're the one who brought Tash to Ravain and to my team, for that matter. If that's not what you wanted... I have failed, yes. I was never taught how to be a mother. Under the Kuhn, children are raised by those suited to such pursuits. I trained as a scholar. I was taught to think critically, to analyze without passion, and correct mistakes. You need not tell me that I am an inadequate mother. I am aware. Then why did you leave? When I see my child in danger, I act. Here, vegetables. Thank you. So, I'm non-binary. What does that mean? It means I don't feel like a man or a woman. If you are neither a man nor a woman, then what are you? Non-binary. I just said, and I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. If this is because I have criticized your dress or your manners... It isn't! Under the Kuhn, the term for one whose gender does not match the one given to them at birth was a Cunithlock. Perhaps you are like that. Why do you have to keep picking at it? Why can't you just be happy for me? Evitash, Chakra Toebra. So I'm supposed to struggle with who I am? Even if I don't feel like I fit? Even if I feel wrong? No, you misunderstood. Then say it better! Why am I never enough for you? I will go. Thank you for inviting me to your home, Panahedan. All of that was new for her. Just give her some time. No. It's okay. Tosh? I'm not hiding anymore. How she takes it is her problem. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Don't let food go to waste. That thing you said about Gillanane, it jogged a memory. A warden claimed he found his way under a mountain, saw a pool that merged creatures into new, terrible forms. Right. That matches some of the legends. They say she healed people in those pools. That warden? His story? It... Could have been demons, or just nightmares of a bad time, but now I wonder. Well, we haven't found one yet, so let's hope we never do. Tell me if I'm prying, Harding, but do you feel any remnant of the Titan's Shade? Oh, no. 
Well, maybe. Yes? It's complicated. Would you care to talk about it? I think the Shade was a splinter of the Titans that recognized me as home. She brought the horrors of her, or our, past. But the anger was mine. And now I know and feel things I didn't before. But not as a separate entity. Exactly. And hey, thanks for asking. I've got a meeting with the Threads. The Threads? What for? I need leads on Alia. I'm hoping they have something. Dharma said to invite you. Someone's on his good side. There's dangerous fanatics, then there's Alia. She's loose in Docktown, and we're in the dark. What's the plan? The Threads and Alias Venatori are at war. Quiet, of course. Neither side wants Templars on them. We stay in the Threads' graces. They share what they know. What about Rana? Can she help? I told Rana that Alia's back. She needs the warning. As for help, Rana wants to be an example. Not sure where that goes anymore. Were we sure of things before? Where was I? Missed it. What can I say? Dogtown's protected. What can the threads do for you? Alia's a pain for both of us. Let's talk. We know people in this town. Neighbors. When they don't turn up on the rounds, we notice. Alia used the threads for dirty work. Stolen relics, muscle, spies. These people, they disappear. And you haven't reported it. We're not looking for attention. Besides, what have Templars and Magisters done for us lately? We've got you. And you won't stop looking. I've got names, missing ones, all yours. No catch. We're local. We know that's a lie. Just give me a catch I can live with. Have I mentioned I like you? Bring this one around more often, Nev. This is war. We find Aelia, we kill her. Give the cult something to think about. You find her, you do the same. Docktown's ours. To Docktown. From the people who breathe it, bleed for it, no one's got its back like we do. To a better Docktown. Doing the best we can till then. <laughs> you go far. To home. No, no. I had to kill a man once who did blood magic on nugs. A hundred little pigs with hands came after me. All together in one big writhing ball. Have you ever tried to stab a ball of angry nugs? That was a bad job. I've got a better one. You know what the wandering hills are named for? Is a monster. Big heap of red tentacles that crawls around, devouring everything in its path. The damn thing was a hillside, the eyes of a village. You try fighting a hill with a sword sometime. How did you kill it? Lamp oil. Everything stank of burnt tentacles for miles after. If the two of you were going to open a bottle, you might have told me first. It's not a good bottle. Might have to pick up a supply. I have a feeling we'll need it. Is anyone else hungry? Maybe I should cook something. What about you, Rook? What's the worst job you've ever been on? I don't think they get worse than Weisopt. No, Weisopt was a shit show. Bad jobs are a different beast. Weishaupt was a lot of beasts stuffed into a burning fortress. You joining us then? Fine. I'll cook something, if Rook's staying. Maybe just for a minute. Rook's story first. Then Lucanus owes me one about this contract on a Bronto. Mierda. That Bronto. Do you remember, Rook? When I mentioned another ceremony I must perform at the Memorial Gardens, the time has come. I was hoping you would accompany me again. More grave lighting? No, this would be a more personal visit. 
whenever you've time. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <laughs> Emmerich, how could you stay annoyed at that face, Skull? <laughs> Oh, Manfred, whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? Lich? That's old Tavine for corpse, isn't it? A lich is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? Oh. The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis, necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true living dead. <laughs> You're making this up, right? Rook, please. I've told so few people. Sorry. The Liches are the great protectors of the Necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire, the right to attempt Lichdom. That's great for a necromancer, right? It is a singular opportunity. Ah, uh, good? Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers. As well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are considerations. Now, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, since we're here to gather flowers for the dead, I thought I'd teach Manfred some plant names. But I just caught him attempting to wade into a rose bush. <laughs> Emmerich, how could you stay annoyed at that face, Skull? <laughs> Oh, Manfred, whatever will happen to you if I pass on? If? Ah, there's something I'd like to talk about. Do you know what a lich is, Rook? Lich? That's old Tavine for corpse, isn't it? A lich is a mage transformed into one of the undead while retaining their true, original consciousness. The idea fascinated me when I was younger. For years, I researched and experimented, spoke with spirits and mages. Then, eventually, I found them. Who? Oh. The lich lords of the Grand Necropolis, necromancers before me who'd transformed themselves into true living dead. Not everyone gets to meet their idols. Oh, but I was nervous. The Liches are the great protectors of the Necropolis, bulwarks against forces that threaten creation. After years of tests and rituals, they granted me my desire, the right to attempt Lichdom. You want to become undead? Lichdom is no ordinary path to undeath. It's far more than common possession. Oh, that makes it fine then. Lichdom is an incredible honor. Immortality, prestige, the most hallowed ranks of the Watchers, as well as a chance to be of service past my allotted years. But there are 
considerations. Come, we have flowers to gather for the dead. Okay, but I've got questions. Blue creep vine. This will do nicely. Emmerich, I can't believe you want to die and stuff a spirit into your body. Liches are different. It wouldn't be a spirit acting in my name. My true consciousness would be housed in my departed flesh. How? The Order must keep some secrets. Ah, moon blossoms. Famed in verse and song. Look, what about flowers? Wouldn't you miss smelling them as a lich? I've been told that while some of my senses will dull, others will become available. Other than that, I can't say if the flowers would still hold their bloom for me. Lichdom serves a purpose. There are dark things in creation, threats to both our world and the Fade. The liches of the necropolis have the insight and the abilities to oppose them. And you're joining them... when? Certain elements have held me back. There's no ready instructions for lichdom. The steps must be discovered on one's own over years to be fully understood. Does the spell to become a lich kill you, or do you have to...? No, mercifully, that falls to another Watcher. After my death, my soul will be drawn back into my body instead of moving on to whatever lies beyond. I still don't think you should do it, but why haven't you become a lich yet? Even with all my preparations, there's a chance I could die, permanently, during the rites. What cowardice! The promise of immortality, an end to all my fears, and the final veil stays my hand. You could try this and die for good. Your plan keeps getting worse. You say nothing that hasn't hounded me. Traditionally, candidates for lichdom face one final sifting of the soul. If they avoid it, you saw my old colleague. Hezenkos? She's a lich. A half-lich, though that hasn't diminished her powers. Until I stop her plans, I won't possess the peace of mind for lichdom. Why don't you select the next flowers, Rook? Sure. So, what's a half-lich, exactly? Johanna attempted the rites of lichdom and failed. Stuck in her in-between state, she is supremely dangerous, but can't learn any new magic. No wonder Hezenkos was shouting so much. No, oh, she's always been that way. What about the sifting of a soul that Hezenkos avoided? The spirits of the necropolis judge whether a candidate is worthy of the power and responsibility of lichdom. How'd she become a lich without it? I shared some knowledge when we were colleagues. She apparently put together more than I knew. It would be just like her to skip the rituals, the cleansings, the preparations of the soul. For a Watcher, Hezenkos is pretty harsh on spirits. We made allowances because of her discoveries. Too many. Spirits are not things to be disposed of. You really care about them. They're so susceptible to the world's whims, Rook. Some spirits are dangerous. But how quickly most respond to a bit of kindness, or care, or simple attempt to understand. For all she's done, I can't condemn Johanna for attempting lichdom. That freedom from mortality, that divorce from fear. And of course, time to read all of one's books. Every mage's dream. But how she's abused her abilities. Are my intentions enough to fare better? Worrying's a good sign. Here we are. Oh, so these flowers are for... Yes. If you could place them on the graves, please. In memory of Rupert and Eleonora Volcarin. They walk eternity hand in hand. After I became a watcher, I erected a proper shrine to my parents. 
When I come to talk, I like to think they listen. Well, don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Hello? H how are you? I, I mean, you're in a grave, so... Wait, let me try again. Do you remember your parents? Some memories are bright. Others are akin to those dim early morning dreams one gets sometimes. Lately, I wondered what they'd think of our current course, the choices ahead. Your lichdom. What would they have wanted me to be? Sorry, but I'm pretty much the worst person you could ask. Surely not the worst. I've got my days. You could always speak with your folks, couldn't you? My parents last saw me as a boy. By the time I mastered my corpse whispering, I was a man. If I woke them, there might be a flash of recognition, or... Besides, if I speak to too many other spirits, Manfred might grow jealous. Can't have that. He'd be impossible, I agree. Supper in Docktown? What's the occasion? I've got leads to chase on Alia and Docktown's missing people. A few sources will only talk if I'm alone. But if you're around after, you help me uncover all this. Supper's on me. Sure. Count me in. Well, I'm late. Try grabbing something from Hal's on the way, but the fish fry's not running. So much for supper. What have you been doing? Chasing leads. On Alias Venatori, Darktown's missing people, and anything that might come close. Find anything? Plenty. Something I can use is another story. So here we are. I'm out of leads, and you're out that supper I promised. Well, we've got at least one witness. Wanna question him? <laughs> How about a break? We can still do that, right? A short one can't hurt. Yeah, maybe. I could use a walk. And some rocks. You up for it? Rocks? Yeah. So, rocks. Look for good ones. You were serious about this? You'll see why. Why are we doing this? You know what they say. Leave no stone unturned. Really? No. Seriously, do you ever take breaks? Real ones? What do you call this? Picking up rocks. And I'll bet the coin in my pocket you're thinking of work. I was thinking of fried fish. Huh. Beat the gods and that's two meals you owe me. How are we doing? With the rocks or in general? Let's stick with the rocks. In that case, so far so good. A win for us. I guess it is. Is this what you do when you're out of leads? I'd look over my notes, but I've got them by heart. I just need to clear my head. You ever figure out how, let me know. Sure thing. You can't count on a lot here. When I started, I wasn't going to save Minrathus, never mind Thedas. But if I could take a job and follow through, well... Maybe people could count on me. But at the end of the day, what have I done here? What sticks? If people like Alia come back for more... I'm fighting, Rook. Sometimes it feels as though the city itself stabs me in the back. I've been told I've got an answer for everything. Only I don't for this. Or a lot of things. And I don't think it was a compliment. <laughs> Aren't we a pair? Getting mixed up in my problems. Can't say it's the smart play. Rana's partner, Brahm. Where did it leave him? 
Where does it leave you? Skipping rocks with a friend. She was there. We didn't see her. This worked. Maybe. Come on. You've got something on Alia. She was there. We just didn't see her. At the spillway? At the relic deal. When Alia controlled Damas, she mentioned Bataris and the stolen relic. Why bring that up? Why would she care? You think she was involved? Or one of her puppets. She's been careful, but there may be something to pick up at the site. A witness. Anything. So we're returning to the scene of the crime, where we fought Bataris. It's just a hunch, but it's the best I've got. Let's check it out. What's the plan? Bataris had a red Lyrian relic. Those don't play nice with the veil. The Viper left me a piece of one in case there was more to track. Remnants. We've got them. Fainter than the ones we found before, but I'll see what I can draw out. Let's take a look. The Thread Smuggler. But this feels scrambled, two people's thoughts in one source. She wasn't a traitor. She was a puppet. Alia moving goods to her followers. This one's afraid. A witness? Someone else showed up too, after we left. If I can pull out more of an echo, a memory. So Nev Gallus is back. Tell me what you saw. Nothing, I swear. Alia. No. In my head. Stay out. Bystander. They must have seen the fight. Then Alia showed up. Tell me, would you see this city rise? Be a thrall in service to its glorious rebirth? Thrall? No, I... No! Silence! Your will... Belongs to the Venatori. I... I'm so sorry. The risen god will unlock my true power. He's given me Vena Vitalis. We start here. What's Vena Vitalis? A rumor, an old Tevinter ritual to increase blood magic. Fake accounts appear on the black market. The real records were burned by magisters. It scared them. But if Aelia cozied up to Algonon, an elven god might know the trick. Or something close he could trade as our legacy. A blood ritual? Then the missing people. It's a lead. But where? When? Who else does Alia break before I track her down? Nev? This place means something to me. But what am I to it if I can't... Minrathus failed before. Not you. This time we stop Alia for good. Venatori who threatened Doctown. They've got Nev Gallus to fear. She won't make it easy. People's lives are at stake. Aren't they always? I'm a sucker, Rook. Getting caught up in all this. <laughs> Bad habit. It's what we signed up for. We'll drown in this, Rook. Or we'll win. No. In my head. Stay out! Bystander. They must have seen the fight. Then Alia showed up. Tell me, would you see this city rise? Be a thrall in service to its glorious rebirth? Thrall? No, I... No! Silence! Your will... Belongs to the Venatori. God will unlock my true power. He's given me Vena Vitalis. We start here. What's Vena Vitalis? 
A rumor, an old Tevinter ritual to increase blood magic. Fake accounts appear on the black market. The real records were burned by magisters. It scared them. But if Aelia cozied up to Elganon, an elven god might know the trick. Or something close he could trade as our legacy. A blood ritual? Then the missing people... It's a lead. But where? When? Who else does Aelia break before I track her down? Nev? This place means something to me. But what am I to it if I can't... You'll catch your Aelia again. Dogtown's got someone looking out for them. They'll see that. <laughs> Will they? Who got us, Bataris? I know. But Aelia plays dirty. Maybe we should play clean. I'm a sucker, Rook. Getting caught up in all this. <laughs> Bad habit. It's what we signed up for. We'll drown in this, Rook. Or we'll win. Hezenkos. I've seen the type. Dangerous and damn slippery about it. You're right. She held such promise. I only wish... Ugh, but wishing for the alternative, you'd find that naive. Can't say it changes things. Can't change that you were friends once, either. And for that, I'm sorry. I... thank you, Nev. Oh, thank the Maker. Did you find the others? What others? Those mercenaries have abducted people from around Doctown, then sold them to the Venatori. I heard them talk about a warehouse. They could be holding them there. We'll look into it. The warehouse where we found the Darkspawn isn't far from here. I thought the Shadow Dragons were keeping an eye on it, but let's check just to be safe. You all right? No, but I'm alive and grateful. They were going to take me somewhere. They, they talked about rituals and risen gods. Venatory. It's always the same old tune. Do you have somewhere to go? Some place you'll be safe. I... I, I don't know the city. Go to the docks. Ask for directions to the pawn shop. When you get there, tell them Gallus sent you. Hey, Davron. We gonna talk about Weishaupt? Not by choice. What the crap was that archdemon? You all said it was a dragon. I don't know. I joined up to fight dragons, not whatever that was. It had too many heads. I don't know what it was. I don't know what the gods are doing. All I know is that Gilanane is still alive. And a lot of wardens aren't. Oh. We'll kick her ass next time. Thanks, Tosh. This smells amazing. Does all coffee smell like this? Or just the stuff you make? Coffee has a distinct aroma, if that's what you're asking. Sorry. It was really rare where I grew up. And expensive. Is it really a good idea having another coffee addict around here? It's not really addictive, is it? Tell us, Lucanis. Is it really addictive? You know I have my reasons for drinking it. So, Harding, what do you think? <coughs> it's... Mm, delicious! Really selling it, Harding. <laughs> hey! I've known some liars, and I am definitely not it. And... and this stuff? It's good! It's... warm! I won't be upset if you don't like coffee. He really wouldn't. I know, but... Ugh. Sorry. It's just this thing I do sometimes. Acting so people will like you? It sounds terrible when you say it like that. I know I don't need to do it. I just do. Sounds really healthy when you put it that way. You must have been pretty tiny as a child. Where'd that come from? A tiny dwarven girl in a land of large human farmers. Oh, yeah. I probably learned pretty quick that things worked out better if people liked me. If they agreed with me, or I agreed with them. 
Some people like cream or sugar in their coffee. Maybe coffee just isn't my thing. Trust me, it's her. And we're lucky. If someone found the body before us, she would have been cremated. Oh, I'll never understand that custom. What are you two up to? Rook, it's very exciting. Nev's invited me to help solve a murder. Maybe they'll put your name in the Minrathus papers alongside Nev's. Do you think so? It's not as fun as it sounds. All right, let's start the show. By the flame that stoked you, by the light that rises, return and speak. You were a shadow dragon. Someone took you out. She's already digging in. Be firm. Why should this one speak? Come on. Have you got anything better to do? We offer you a last chance to speak with the living. You helped get people out of the city. Who was the last person you took? No, no. Secret. This one's to protect. They're clinging to a role. Keeping secrets. Fine. Then tell me who killed you. Did you see their face? Their name gives the other away. If they came for you, then they're coming for whoever you helped escape. I'm a shadow dragon too. You started a job, let us finish it. By the pacts of the Watchers, we would not ask, were it not important. This one saw the murderer's face. Around us. His son wanted out for Black Mage family. This one got the son to a Sariel. Help him. The Shadow Dragons will get him to safety. The spirit has left us. Thank you for trusting me with one of your dead. Wouldn't leave that to just anyone. You're a different story. Thanks for the help. Anytime. Strife, I got a tip there might be trouble here in Arlathan. You're just in time. We've got a problem. I was out with a scouting party and we spotted the Venatori moving into the area. They're being directed by Elganarn or Gilanane. They have to be. The Grey Wardens warned us the gods were heading to Arlathan, but why bring the Venatori? We don't know. That's where you come in. Well, that sounds like trouble. How can I help? Nip it in the bud. Don't let them stir up anything worse. I'll give you the rough location where we sighted them, but you might have to search beyond that. They want something. And we need to know what they're up to. I'll find out what it is. Feel free to take out as many of them as you can. This is our forest. Not sure what this is. Ballara? It's Dalish. There's a Dalish camp nearby. If the Venatori hit them... They could be in trouble. Let's go. Now. Galadar, what's happening? The Venatori are rounding up Dalish. I locked that barrier, but some of them already got through. Hold on. Rounding up Dalish? There are more Dalish inside the ruins. There were camps there. All right. Get back to Strife and Irulin and let them know. It's okay. You're safe. I'm a Veil Jumper. What happened here? That other Veil Jumper died making sure I was safe. She sealed the barrier before the Venatori could get me. What about the rest of the Dalish? They took everyone. Kidnapped them all. Why? Where'd they go? I... I don't know. Their leader said they need Dalish blood. Some sort of sacrifice. Sacrificed? Why am I not surprised? This just got a whole lot worse. We need to figure out where the Venatori took them. Let's look around. If they lay one finger on those prisoners... Well... 
Doesn't look like the Venatori brought many supplies with them. They must have a nest close by. We find it. Maybe we find the Dalish. Wait, the glass we found. There's a crater here in Arlathan. Thousands of years ago, Rook, blood magic destroyed here. that area. All that energy turned the sand to glass. And we know the Venatori didn't come very far. They must have taken the Dalish to the crater. We got here as fast as we could. It's bad. They're kidnapping Dalish to sacrifice them. What? You're serious? These Dalish were caught by surprise. One survived, but the rest... Will live just long enough to be sacrificed. Even for the Venatori. This is evil. Where did they take the prisoners? The lake. The old crater. We have to do something. We'll find them. But it'll take time to put together a rescue party. Don't take too much time. We need to stop this. We will. There's something I need to do, back home. Everything all right? Yeah, just chasing Aelia. It brings a lot up. If you're around, maybe. I'd take the company. Sure thing, Nev. You don't get it. About the Kunari stuff. That's my mother's crap. But you know so much more than you give yourself credit for. But never as much as her. Ah. Don't ah me. She's the expert. Of course she is. She has decades of experience. But a proper teacher never makes a student feel inadequate. <laughs> Maybe in Navarra. Good. You're here. What happened? A note from Viago. Katerina is alive. What? How? Zara's carcass told the truth. Ilario didn't arrange Katerina's death because he spirited her away. Katerina has been a prisoner in her own villa, with Ilario as her keeper. If there's any justice, she's made Ilario's life a misery every single day. Ilario is making his move. He's hosting the talents of the Crows at Via della Morte. All of them. That means the finest wine and an even finer banquet. If Iago's nearby, assume it's poisoned. We have to do this carefully. Ilario has to be expecting us. You think he knows that we know about him and Elgadon? He wouldn't be avoiding us otherwise. Be ready for a trap. It'll be slow going through Treviso. Not for us. We're going by water, and Spide is keen to get this done. Then let's make this a night to remember. Tell me about Anoris. He is the light, the hope of Elvanan, the bringer of- Tell me about the war against the Evanuris. Even now, the armies of Anaris wage a glorious war against the- Tell me about the armies. The Chosen of Elvanan, made pure and stripped of their want to serve the great Anaris. So demons. He made an army of demons. Damn it, Sirian. What have you done? Oh, Rook. What are you hoping to find out from the Archive? About Anaris? What would make Sirian work with him? But everything I found out, it just makes it worse. And now Sirian wants to meet. To explain himself. It's kind of hard to explain turning people into demons. I know. Talking to him again, knowing what I know, it's hard. Beyond hard. And that's if this isn't all a big trap. He's still your brother, even if he's made some bad choices. Some really bad choices. That's the thing. The Syrian I know cared, loved his people more than anything. He... he kept me grounded. Focused. Made sure I was okay. And I took care of him. Protected him because I loved my little brother and I owed him. But what he is now, who he is now, I don't know. I'd hoped the Archive would make it easy. Tell me it was a, a misunderstanding. But Anaris is evil, full stop. And if my brother's working with him, 
I know this is hard for you, but you know we have to stop them, right? I know. I get it. He's my brother, though. The day he died, or I thought he died, it was the worst day of my life. I don't know if I can do that again. So what are you going to do? Meet with him. Are you okay with that? No, but I need to talk to him. Convince him he's wrong. And if that doesn't work? Will you come with me? Of course. Thanks, Rook. Really. Just... tell me when you're ready. <laughs>